Good evening, sir. I, Divya, along with my teammates Komal, Vishwesh, Anshika, and Shaya, is going to present our PPT on the topic Lexical Analysis. This is the content of our presentation. Our presentation starts with a small introduction, then comes few questions based on the topic, then comes the MCQ, and at last we will conclude our presentation by a small conclusion. In computer science, lexical analysis, lexing or tokenization is the process of converting a sequence of lexical tokens that is, such as in a computer program or web page into a sequence of lexical tokens that is, strings with an assigned and thus identified meaning. A program that performs lexical analysis may be termed as lexer, tokenizer or scanner, although scanner is also a term for the first stage of a lexer. A lexer is generally combined with a parser, which together analyze the syntax of programming languages, web pages, and henceforth. Tokens include identifiers, separators, keywords, operator, constant, and etc. DFA and NFA converts the program into tokens. Now we will see one of the code. So here we can see a first question in which we have to count the number of tokens. So as we can see that in the first line there are five tokens that is int, main and the three braces. In the second line there are nine tokens that is int a equal to sign 20, the comma b equal to 30 and the separator. Similarly for the next, uh, similarly for the next coming lines also there are six tokens in the third line, there are four tokens in the fifth, fourth line and one token in the uh, fifth line. And similarly, the total tokens are 32 tokens. So now let us understand how lexical analyzer functions. So the three types of functions that lexical analysis does is tokenization, gives error messages and eliminate comments and white spaces. Tokenization, it divides the program into valid tokens. Tokenization is the act of breaking up a sequence of strings into pieces such as words, keywords, phrases, symbols and other elements called tokens. Tokens can be individual words, phrases or even whole sentences. In the process of tokenization, some of the characters like punctuation marks are discarded. The next function is gives error messages. It gives an error messages when the length of the string is exceeding it has unmatched strings or illegal characters. The third function is eliminate comments and white spaces. It removes comments and white spaces. Lexical analyzer is the first phase of a compiler. It takes modified source code from language preprocessors that are written in the form of sentence. The lexical analyzer breaks the syntax into a series of tokens by removing any white spaces or comments in the source code. Moving on to the next slide. Now let us understand with the help of an example. In this question, we will count the number of tokens. We will not see whether the code is written correctly or not. First, we will convert the code into token. The lexical analyzer works is to convert the stream character to stream of tokens. So in the first line, there are total number of four tokens. Int is number one token, main is the second token. The third token is the opening bracket and the th uh, fourth token is the closing bracket. In the next line, there are only one token that is a closing curly brace. Then coming to the third line, x equal to sign y plus operator z and a semicolon. So the total number of tokens in the third line is six. In the same way, there are seven tokens in the next line and in the print of statement sentence there are seven tokens and at the end there is an open curly brace so the total number of tokens in that line is one then so in all when we count all the number of tokens in each line the total that we get is 26 so first uh, we will uh, it generates the token and gives an error messages if the code is correct or not that's all from my side thank you sir uh, now we will find the total number of tokens. Uh, so line 1, we have a man and two braces. So total number of tokens will be 3. And then we have a braces. So it will be uh, 4. And in line 2, we have we have a equal to b and 3 plus sign. So 2 plus sign will be counted as a unary operator. And 1 is as a binary. So 3 plus sign will count as a 2 tokens. And similarly, we have a 4 uh, minus sign. So it will be counted as a 
two tokens. So in total, we have 11 tokens from this line. And second line, the printed statement, uh, printed is itself a token. And after that, we have a braces. So it will be again uh, token. And uh, we will stop at this point because uh, there, will be, uh, there is only one uh, double code. So from line one, we have uh, three tokens. From second line, 11, and the braces is one. And uh, from the printed statement, in that line, we have a uh, two tokens. So the number of token is 17. Uh, now I request my other group member to continue the presentation. Thank you, Vishwesh. Uh, so for the moving on to the next part, uh, we will focus on the number of tokens uh, formed uh, during this uh, lexical analysis of this particular code. So uh, here, uh, main uh, it is uh, it can define as uh, identifier, and after that, uh, the first bracket will be. Uh, the first bracket will be punctuator and uh, and uh, we, we can say that, that here is uh, four tokens and after that in in can be uh, defined as uh, defined as a keyword and a we can say that a is also uh, an identifier and equal to is op operator and 10 is constant so uh, here we can say that here is five tokens and uh, uh, similarly uh, at the next line uh, we have uh, care uh, which can be defined as uh, uh, which can be defined as uh, identifier and uh, here is p uh, which can be defined as also as identifier uh, and there is operator and after that uh, uh, there is a b c uh, in, in inverted comma inverted comma so uh, we can say that uh, it is uh, uh, lateral so it, it can it, it will be counted uh, count as uh, one so here is five token and similarly uh, for the next quotes it is uh, six tokens and for the next line uh, it is six tokens and for the last line it is also six tokens and uh, uh, at last here is punctuator and is one token so total number of tokens is uh, 33 third question is what is cross compilers so cross compilers are those which are capable of creating executable code for a platform other than the one on which the compiler is running example if we create our uh, or write a code in windows and run it cross compiler will create executable code for windows and along with that it will also create code for linux platform as well so the first option is the answer. The last question is to convert a code into number of co tokens. So let's see here, printf, uh, this statement, we have to find out the number of tokens. First is printf, which will be the first token. Second is opening bracket. Third, from the uh, quotation to the quotation where it is closing, it will be taken as one. Then comma, i, com again the comma, and an i, again closing bracket, and semicolon all these count to 10 tokens so the number of tokens formed is 10 from this whole presentation we were able to know about lexical analyzer how they work what are their functionalities later we even discussed four questions followed by solving some rapid mcq questions to brush up on the concept these are the references that we took thank you sir thank you very good presentation